So we had the Bulls playing against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Both teams fighting for their playoff lives and it was played like it, man. Jordan McLaughlin from the corner makes it a 10-point game at the start of the fourth quarter, but the Bulls instantly rally with Kobe White hitting this incredible momentum shifting three-pointer. And he has been so good in his role with the Bulls and I, I really like how he's been playing this year. Zach Levine... He was spectacular in this fourth quarter also. He turned it up and I mean, this was one hell of a game. Playoff atmosphere and just beautiful. Mike Conley to Rudy Gobert. Just such a shame that Anthony Edwards got hurt in the first quarter, but we'll talk about it later. Beautiful tough layup from DeMar DeRozan to tie the game up with 20 seconds to go. And then the last position goes to Kyle Anderson, which I understand, but he got locked down by Levine. Double dribbles. And we are headed to overtime. And in OT, OT number one, you have Jalen McDaniels. Wait, Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> I always, why do I always get them wrong? But he was absolutely uh, unbelievable tonight also, man. He hit so many big shots. Unfortunately for him, it didn't matter. And one, Timar DeRozan. And Rudy Gobert was mad at it. And I, I, I get it. It was a rough foul call. But hey, Demar's gonna get that call at home. Then, once again, Jaden McDaniels with the floater. I've been loving his play this year, man. He's such a talented player. And <laughs> Torin Prince was playing for some goddamn reason. And Zach Levine gets the layup to go. He missed a dunk just before this. So, yeah, that, 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 it was a very, very, very insane game. And Jaden McDaniels tries the three-pointer, misses here. Which is kind of unfortunate because, hey, he tried his best. Pat Beverly tried his be best to sell this so he could get a free throw. But he didn't against his former team. Zach Levine behind the screen. Beautiful fading three-pointer. Three-point lead for the Bulls. And Dimar passes it here to Nikola Vucevic. Wait, oh, it's a fadeaway. Yeah, I forgot that the other play is... After that, <laughs> but beautiful fadeaway from Dimar and Nikola Vucevic. <sighs> the commentators were hyped as hell. I was hyped as hell because this game was so fun. Beautiful atmosphere. And the Bulls get a huge, huge win at home against these Timberwolves. I'm going to leave uh, the miscue in because hey, it shows an aunt authenticity. Authenticity. Uh, if only I could speak properly. Uh, DeMar, 49 and 14. 15 of 25 from the field. What a night from DeMar. And Zach Levine with 39 on 15 of 25. Both guys, 15 of 25 from the field. Incredible stuff from them. They didn't even shoot that much from the three-point line, but they were getting whatever they wanted everywhere else and got to the free throw line a bunch. I really liked how Vucevic played tonight with 21-11. Four assists, two steals, Three blocks, four turnovers, though, but uh, in the end, it didn't matter. Pa Pat Beth actually had a solid night also overall. Uh, Patrick Williams, I liked how he played. Cody White had his moments, like I said. And just a huge, huge win for these uh, Bulls. And they needed it badly. They needed it really badly. As, uh, of course, they are fighting for their life and they, you know, have it tougher than the Timberwolves in a way, right? But... The Timberwolves will have it tougher now with Anthony Edwards going down. And he started this game off so well. And then he rolled his ankle in the first quarter. Uh, he was in a walking boot. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, we don't know enough information, unfortunately. Uh, it's so tough because Ant-Man is one of the most fun players to watch in the league. And now he's just going to be out. And I mean, with a walking boot, I'm expecting at least two weeks. At least two weeks minimum, right? And... That's just, uh, that's that's bad. That's really bad. Jaden McDaniels, 25, 6 and 4. Great night <coughs> overall, but unfortunately not enough. <coughs> Kyle Anderson with 11, 10 and 12. Didn't shoot the ball well at all. Had that bad turnover. Not his best game, especially with how he's been playing this year. It was one of his rougher games. Mike Conley had 28 points. Hit 8 three-pointers. Three-pointers. And Trudy Gobert with 21 and 19 with 5 blocks. Fouled out in the end, was in foul trouble, but still had a hell of an impact when he was on. And then the bench was really bad overall, except for Nikhil Alexander Walker and Jordan McLaughlin. But they unfortunately were uh, countered out by Torian Prince and Nasri, who weren't great. Nasri at least had 14 points, but Torian Prince was horrible, had that 
just absolutely dumb found turnover in that uh, first overtime that I showed you. And yeah, that was a rough one. Probably shouldn't have been in there, but I'm not the coach here. 